that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review, and today I'm taking a look at NFL Rush Zone from Toy Island. This is for two to six players, ages seven up, but it'll take you about 20 to 30 minutes to play. And in NFL Rush Zone, you will be throwing the ball and running the ball and kicking the balls as you play professional NFL football. Let's open up and see how it plays. All right, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of NFL Rush Zone, the board game. First and foremost, we're going to start off with our handy-dandy rule booklet. Uh, it is two pages, double-sided, full-colored, very well-done rule booklet. It will clearly explain exactly how to play the game, and it's a very simple game to play. Also, I want to point out, on the board, they have a, a little cheat sheet down here, which will be very helpful on all four corners of the board. Next, you're going to get a lot of components that you're not going to use each and every game. One thing that is nice is they included enough components so you can play as any NFL team you want. But the problem is, when you're not when you're playing a game, you're not going to use any of the other stuff. Also, likewise, you're going to get these little NFL Rush Zone pawns, which have various different symbols on it. It says it's for two to six players, and each person can have their own little pawn, which are there to cheer you on. Those are in the rule booklet. Um, I don't know exactly what that means. You can also use them on the game board, but I really think the football they included is much easier to do. But likewise, uh, you're probably not going to use any of these guys when you're playing the game, most likely. Uh, next, you're going to get your handy-dandy NFL Rush Zone scorecard. It has all four quarters and an overtime, very self-explanatory. If you've watched any NFL football, you'll need a pencil to fill it out, and it will. Uh, you'll have three possessions per quarter, and you're going to be trying to score more points than your opponents, just like a real football game. Next, you're going to get your, uh, well, I should mention, the star of the show is the board. The board looks very, very cool. When you bust out this board, people are going to see this thing and be like, whoa, what is going on here? It looks really cool, and the board is gorgeous, nice quality. you got the field goal post you can have here. you got uh, your, your different teams in the end zones. It looks really, really nice. And in this game, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be moving up and down the field trying to score more points than your opponent by passing and punting and kicking and you know, throwing the ball and doing all sorts of various different things. Uh, you're going to be doing that by rolling dice. Each person is going to get four dice. They're going to get three white dice and one green dice. Now, the green dice is used for special occasions like punting, kicking, and going for things on fourth down, which is always a big moment in games. Um, also, you're going to have this football. You're going to be moving this football, and this is essentially going to be both players' pawns. So when it's this, uh, when the Colts are going up the field, have the Colts side, and when the Broncos are going up the field, you will have the Broncos side, and you can open this and put any different team you want in there, which is a nice little touch. But uh, to start off the game, you essentially are going to be deciding, flip, uh, well, deciding to get the ball by flipping the coin. The coin to us, just like in the real NFL, you got heads, you got tails. You'll flip it, you'll see it goes first, and then that person is going to decide would they like to receive the ball or would they like to defer and get the ball at the beginning of the second half. And you'll decide that, and then what's going to happen is you're going to have the kickoff. Now, the kickoff, as I mentioned, is going to be settled by the green dice. Uh, most of the time, what's going to happen is you're going to start on the 20-yard line. It's going to be a touchback, which is, you know, actually how it is in the NFL. Sometimes you'll start at the 10-yard line. Sometimes you'll be able to go, I think, all the way up to the 50-yard line if you have a good return. But you're going to roll dice, and you're going to see the difference. So essentially, um, if this guy was kicking the ball off and this guy was receiving the ball, 6 versus 2, you'd start on the 20. However, if you beat your opponent by 40... By four, you will go ahead 40 yards if you're receiving the ball. So if this guy is receiving the ball, this guy is kicking it, then you would start at the 40-yard line, and then you would start the game. When you start the game, you're going to need your white dice. These are going to represent first, second, and third down. However, uh, you're just going to roll all three of them at the same time, essentially. At this point, it's just who is going to get higher. If you get higher than your opponent when you roll the dice, then most of the time you're going to get to go 10 yards, or you're going to have to decide whether to punt the ball or kick a field goal. So let's just do a quick mock hand. We're going to pretend that this guy over here is the Colts, who are on offense. They're trying to move the ball down the field. And this guy is the Broncos on defense. So this guy will roll... And this guy will roll. And what happened here is this guy got a 16. However, more importantly, he got doubles. Now, if you get doubles, you instantly bust a big run, which means you're going to go 20 yards. So essentially, he just goes 10, 20. 
He's gone 20 yards, and then you roll again. So this guy rolls again, this guy rolls again, and now we get to see who's got the most, uh, the, the highest number. So he's got five, four, he's got 11 points on offense, and this guy has 10 points on defense. So offense gets to move the ball 10 yards. But you're gonna roll the dice until you get into the end zone, and when you get in the end zone, you will score seven points because you scored a touchdown. There's two other special kind of rolls that I didn't mention. If the person on offense gets triples, which, you know, isn't going to happen too often, but it'll happen sometimes, you instantly get a big, long pass, and you get to go home ahead 30 yards. So let's just pretend you rolled three sixes. That counts as uh, that counts as a big, long pass. You go ahead 30 yards, and this guy would score a touchdown, and then you would kick it off. The other special rule I didn't mention is the defensive fumble. Now, what happens on a fumble is if someone rolls three of the same dice on defense. What happens is the offense fumbles the ball, the defense gains the ball, so instantly you're gonna flip this over, so now it's the Broncos ball, and you're gonna advance it 30 yards. So 10, 20, 30, and now it is the Broncos' turn to score. Uh, it's a nice little turnover. The last thing I need to mention is the fourth down. So sometimes when you're on offense, you're gonna have a lower number than your opponent. Let's just pretend that we got a four, a five, and a three over here, which equals 12, and this guy has this. He's got a 14, so it's a 12 and a 14, and the Broncos are like, you know what, I'm gonna go for it on fourth down. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna roll their green dice, and the defense will roll their green dice, and whichever team has the highest number is essentially going to get the ball. So if the offense has a higher number after four dice rolls, then they will get to move ahead 10 yards. Or if the defense has the higher number after all four rolls and going on a fourth down, then there is a turnover and the Colts now get the ball. But you're going to go up and down the field scoring points and trying to get the most points so you can win the game. And that is how NFL Rush Zone, the board game, is played. All right, NFL Rush Zone from Toy Island. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, the game is not one of those super expensive $50 games. Also, the components are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, when people see you playing, they're going to be like, whoa, what is that? That looks really freaking cool. They've included enough stuff so you can play with every single team, even the AFC and NFC Pro Bowl. Like, who's playing as Pro Bowl teams? But whatever, they have all the teams that you know and love in the NFL, uh, which was really, really cool that they included that. Uh, also, you can find it at Target, so you're not going to have to special order it at Amazon or go into, you know, go into some game or some fancy game store. I'm really struggling here, people. I'm not going to lie. I'm really struggling here. This game, this game, garbage. Hate this game so much. It makes me so freaking mad. I am a Die-hard, huge football fan. So when I got NFL Rush Zone, let me tell you, I was so excited to get on the great iron and move up and down the field and make strategic situations. And I opened the box and I was like, oh, there's so much stuff. I'm so excited. And then I, I saw, hey, there's no cards in here. It's just dice. And I was like, hmm, that's awfully suspect. And then I realized, hey, 90% of the components you don't actually use to play the game. Let, let's just go over this. This whole bag right here. These are mascots. These are used to cheer you on. To cheer you on. You're not playing with these. They're, they're not meeples. Now you can use them as meeples, but essentially they're just there to cheer you on. Next, two to six players? Are you kidding me? If anyone ever tried to get me to play the six players, I would punch them in the face! That would be terrible! Oh my god! How do you do that? Do you just each roll one dice? Oh my gosh. The game is 100% luck. Let's go, let's go back, let's get this train back on the road. 100% luck. Now sure, you can decide to punt it here, or go for it here, or kick a field goal, blah, 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 blah. This game is absolute garbage. Toy Island, you should be ashamed of yourself for charging people 20 plus dollars for this game. And Target, you should be ashamed of yourself for carrying this game. It is absolute crap. It is horrible. It is terrible. Do not check it out and do not buy NFL Rush Zone. Let's have my wife give her, you, her opinion. This game sucks. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was a review for NFL Rush Zone Board Game. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.